hey guys and welcome back after a very long time this is prashant and i'm here to guide you to compile a room from the source so here is a quick guide regarding the same i will explain things in the video the step one is to initialize the repo for this we will visit the github page or you can say github.com and we will search for the room we wish to compile let us take candy room as an example for this video you can ignore the dialog box okay so we will be visiting the candy rooms github page and then we have to find the manifest i repeat we have to find the manifest for this we will visit their site and then we will look for the manifest item you can see inside the candy it is clearly written here is the manifest thing so all you have to do is click on the manifest link and then you can see there are various branches they are like a room has different version like oreo nugget marshmallow and so on moreover you can see the latest commit on the right side below that you will find a command for this you have to copy that command so after finishing the step one in next step we will create the folder of the room name and we will paste the manifest command which we got from the website here so i will make the folder candy for this i will type mkdir or you can say mkdir candy for going inside the folder or outside the folder we will type cd so i will type cd candy and i will paste the link which i guessed from the manifest of the room every room has its manifest and has the following command you can create it as well from your logical common sense now you can see it will say the repo has been initialized on the following path every time you need to make sure it is on the correct path and now next step we will sync the sources this will take time as the sources are around 20 gb to 30 gb and vary from room to room so this will take time and it will be according to the internet speed you have and your pc specs the command is given on the description so after finishing step 1 and 2 the next step is to clone device specific sources here you need to pay close attention for device we need three things the device tree the vendor blobs the kernel we will be using sanchit rohilas sources so big thanks to him so here is the device tree you can find it along with his name you can see it is written device u tomato the there are underscores you can see after device there are underscore they act as a space you will find later on what the thing i have to convey you can close this page this is no important for us along with i want to tell you the common tree and the common vendor are optional for many devices it may be there or not for your devices so don't panic but if it is there you have to clone it so you can see for our device u eureka we have a common tree as well but we does not have a common vendor now there is a tricky thing i am going to tell you for example for any device we have too many of custom kernels so we wish to use that kernel instead of stock kernel on our device for that all we need to do is to visit the thread or you can say the link where the kernel is for our eureka we have u forums we will be having an example of azio by panchayat sarkar so big thanks to him so you can see the azio kernel now go to the first page of the thread and your 
you can see the link for the sources if we will scroll down we will see it so here it is so here is a source code for the kernel it means rather than using the stock kernel we can clone this kernel as well and as usual it has many branches according to its version so now we got the window blobs the kernel the device tree and the comment tree remember we are taking eureka as our example you can use any other phone and it may have different things but make sure you have the device tree vendor and kernel these three things must be there now it's time to clone these things before going to the further steps let us take a quick view of certain terms which i will be using in front of you the first one is clone for example you can understand git clone means something which you want to copy or bring it on your computer now second is branch as i told you in the manifest a rom has several branches so we have to decide which branch we are cloning so now it's time to clone and type the command now we will move to the folder where the rom sources are synced for this we will type cd then space the rom folder name and then we will use the following commands now get yourself to root access by typing sudo and then typing the password accordingly now let us move towards the github page here you can see a command for clone or download just copy that command and type git clone and then paste the command which you just copied now we will select the branch which we are cloning so we will use the rr branch here now as the path suggest along with the link you can see device underscore u underscore tomato and i told you it's underscore act as in space so now the path where we will be cloning this will be device inside device we will be moving to u and inside u we will be cloning it into tomato folder okay so you will get yourself understandable by having a practical example of it 